Well, it's pretty crazy. This is America's response that we sent to Israel after the Hamas attack on Israel last Saturday. Let me see, that was, seems like longer, but that's only two days ago. And this is the USS Gerald R. Ford. It is a huge ship, can hold 90 aircraft, and which includes fighter jets and attack helicopters. And that's going over to sit in the Mediterranean outside of Gaza. And along with that comes five other boats or ships, I should say. And all of this started from Hamas attack where men bicycled flying over a wall. Causing um, damage, capturing some people for hostages because Israel will pay a lot by releasing incarcerated people in return for hostages. And it's said that Israel has about a thousand um, Palestinians in their prisons that they locked up for who knows what reasons because they felt they were aggressive I assume and so one of the reason they took hostages is they wanted to get people Palestinians out of Israeli prisons but the response has been tremendous so, this is the response to bicycles. So you can imagine what the response would be if planes attacked Israel. Now, of course, United States as usual, totally incompetent. They didn't have any ambassador to Israel because the Republicans didn't want to... Um, okay anybody for that position and there was a man named law who had been up for the position for a couple of months but the uh, republicans wouldn't okay anybody they just wanted to argue and so nobody was in that position so now they're trying to get somebody in that position but this is a terrible time to go over and start a new job. I mean, he should have been in the position. He should know people. He should have the ability to speak with some confidence as to who he's speaking with and have some status. But, you know, now we're sending people too late, too little. You know, it's after, after everything's been done. So... You know, our Congress is do nothing, and we've been complaining for a long time. They won't even put generals in positions because the Republicans are fighting and won't okay any military positions. We don't have anybody to head the Navy. And these are Navy ships out there sailing, sailors, planes, no one to head the Navy because Republicans don't want to put anyone in charge. They're just crazy. I mean, it says do nothing Congress. And I hope people realize when you are supposed to be the leader, you cannot sit around doing nothing.
This is what happens. Rubble. That man staring at a huge amount of rubble. And people are in there. People are in there. And hope nobody's looking for rescue. Because those people are going to die. A teetering building. Huge hole beneath it. Huge amount of rubble. And again, people are in there. People dead, people dying. And might be some poor souls hoping that somebody lifts a rock and saves their life. But that's not going to happen. And these pictures are, of course, all from the Daily Mail. No one in charge of the Navy. No one in charge of um, Israel. We send $3 billion to Israel. Of course, Israel gives a billion dollars to Jared, Jared, Jared Kushner for who knows what. Ivanka came out and said she supports Israel. Well, of course, if my husband got a billion dollars from Israel, that would be a no-brainer. But she did um, confer to Judaism, and her husband is Jewish. And he got a billion of, do of our billion dollars of our taxes. Yahoo for Jared Kushner. Too bad he never served in the military. Of course, no one in the Trump family served in the military. Trump hurt his, hurt his heel. He had trouble walking one day and said, well, that disqualifies me from serving. I'll let other people go out and serve, and I'll just steal their money. So this is what's happening. Congress do nothing, incompetent, and they're out on vacation for a week. You would think they would all come back. Nope, can't come back. Can't come back. They're vacationing. So whenever they toddle in there, then they'll do votes. And maybe they'll pick out a head of the Navy. Maybe they'll choose an ambassador. Maybe they'll pick some generals for war. Israel has called up 173,000 of their reservists. Of course, everybody in Israel has to serve in the military. So reservists is anybody. When, they, when somebody gets kidnapped, that person is automatically a military person because everyone has to serve in the military unless they're a baby or a real young child. So, it's crazy. You can't have an incompetent Congress because you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared. It's like you walking in the streets, get hit by a car, and you go to the hospital, and they tell you they gave all the doctors vacations. Because the administrator was fighting with the doctors. And so he told the doctors to go home. And then you come in the hospital and there's nobody there. That's the kind of world you want. You keep putting these people in charge. You keep putting these people in charge. It's so sad. Heal the world. Make it a better place. For you and for me. And the whole human race. There are people dying. 
a better place for you and for me. Please like and subscribe. Bye.